It's been a while. Welcome back to Cameras and Coffee. Yes, I'm shooting this on a Panasonic G7. Wow. Pulled this out of the closet, dusted it off. It's been about five years since I've used this. And I'm using it with the 20 millimeter lens. And uh, hopefully my audio is recording okay. I, th I think it is. I'm just checking my levels now. So uh, I'm going to do a little picture profile test because I've been reading more and more articles about the different profiles and how well they hold up in low light or no light. So here we are. It's pretty low and that Bunny's Smoke Shop sign over there on the left is super bright and the rest of the 7-Eleven stuff in the building over there is uh, well, it's, it's a little bit underexposed. And uh, so I'm just curious to see how this is going to play out. Uh, hopefully it's usable and hopefully it's exciting for you guys to see. And, uh, and maybe we can all learn something. I'm looking for the cleanest low light picture profile uh, that uh, the G7 can do. So let's check it out. Right now, this is standard. This is standard mode, um, all zeroed out. Standard zero everything. I'll let this roll. This has been rolling for a little bit, about a minute and a half. But once again, this is standard. All right. All right, here we are. This is vivid. Vivid. Everything zeroed out. I'm shooting with the uh, Panasonic G7, 20 millimeter, 1.7 wide open, vivid. Okay, here we are on natural, natural picture profile, everything zeroed out. Shooting this at 4K, 24 frames, 50th of a second, this is natural natural all right something different this is monochrome monochrome just like all the other profiles this is all zeroed out just seeing how the dynamic range is here see if we can pull anything out of the shadows see if the colors look different really really trying to figure out how noisy it is in the shadows all right i'm sure you've never heard that before right joking this is uh, monochrome. All right, here we are on scenery. This is scenery. And like all the other profiles, this is also zeroed out. Uh, no pluses or minuses on any of the contrast or sharpness or anything. This is scenery. Okay, here we are at portrait. Portrait. Like all the other ones, this is also zeroed out. No pluses, no minuses. Portrait. All right. Portrait. All right, here we go. This is Cine Like D. Cine Like D. Let's see how this holds up. See if it lifts any of the shadows. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. I'll have to revisit some of these picture profiles because it's been years since I've shot with this camera and put it away so well that I just sort of rediscovered it in my closet uh, years later. So here we are, Cine Like D, all zeroed out, no pluses, no minuses, Cine Like D. Okay, this is Cine Like V. Cine Like V. This one is also all zeroed out. No pluses or minuses on the contrast color. Straight down the middle. Cine Like V. Yep. Cine Like V. All right, we're back to standard now. I flip the camera around to do something a little different. Uh, something that has a little bit more shadow in it looking at the Good Fortune supermarket and uh, let's check it out right now we're in standard all zeroed out 
4K with the 20 millimeter 1.7 wide open at a 50th, 24 frames, 4K. All right, this is standard. All right, here we are, vivid. This is vivid. Just like the rest of them, all zeroed out. Everything's at zero. No contrast, uh, no color, plus or minus, none of that stuff. This is vivid. This is natural. I saw this jump up immediately. Should be interesting to see the difference. This is natural. This one's also all zeroed out, just like the rest of them. Um, uh, yeah, this is natural. All right. This is monochrome. This is monochrome. I want to keep the test consistent, so we're going to shoot monochrome over here. Look into those shadows over there underneath the Good Fortune supermarket. This is scenery. Scenery. All right. This is scenery. Since I flipped the camera around this way, I'm shooting all this at ISO 640. It's still quite a bit darker over here than it was at the bunny smoke shop setup. This is scenery, all zeroed out, ISO 640, wide open, 1.7 at a 50th, 4K. Ooh, this is portrait. I saw this one open up too. Should be interesting to see all these. This is portrait. Nothing's changed on the settings. It's all the same as the others, all zeroed out. This is portrait. Portrait. All right, this is Cine Like D, Cine Like D. Uh, all the settings are same as all the other profiles, Cine Like D. I wanna see if, what kind of noise I'm gonna see on those, all this stuff. It's gonna be, I'm just looking for some noise on this. See what's going on in the dark, dark areas of the shadows. Uh, trying to find kind of the magic picture profile for low, low light. Cine like V. Cine like V. Cine like V. Yeah. Cine like V. Same as the other settings. All right, this is natural minus five. Natural minus five, ISO 640. Natural minus five, ISO 640. Just looking at something different. <clears throat> Seeing if I can catch up to the Cine Like D without using Cine Like D. See if I can come close. This is standard, minus five. Standard, minus five. Just want to try to see if I can come up with something that's not Cine D that gets me pretty close with maybe better colors. I don't know. This is standard, minus five on the contrast at ISO 640. This is portrait minus five. Portrait minus five on the contrast. Trying to chase down that Cine Like D. See if we can find something that's gonna come close to Cine Like D. This is portrait minus five on the contrast. This is scenery minus five. ISO 640, looking in the dark spots down there by the Alpha Science Math. See what kind of noise is down there in those dark, dark spots. This is scenery, minus five on the contrast. Vivid, minus five, vivid, minus five on the contrast. I think I'm talking a lot, sorry guys. I think I'm talking too much, anyway. Vivid, minus five. Look into those shadows. Vivid, minus five on the contrast, ISO 640.